The Owen James Report is brought to you by Burita, making money work for you. I'm sure you've seen many commercials about financial services and investment opportunities. The smiles, the nice business suits, the charts, the beautiful scenes, and of course, children. Cut! But real financial management means more than selling you a product or service. It's about protecting your money, your life, your future. It's about integrity. With over three decades of proven excellence, you should look no further than Burita. Making money work for you. Good evening. This is the Owen James Report. The Bank of Jamaica is projecting that the pace of economic growth experienced in the December quarter will continue in the March quarter and that overall growth for the full fiscal year could reach 1%. The economy is estimated to have grown by 1.4% in the December quarter. Now, Bank of Jamaica Governor Brian Winter, at his quarterly briefing today, based his projections for continued growth mainly on stronger growth in the global economy, as well as confidence generated from the implementation of policies under the extended fund facility agreed with the IMF. The central bank governor expects growth in certain key areas of the Jamaican economy. Increased economic activity is largely expected to be reflected in the performance of agriculture, forestry and fishing, mining and quarrying, hotels and restaurants, and construction and installation. For the fiscal year, therefore, GDP growth is projected to be in the range of 0 to 1 percent for the fiscal year, but the point estimate um, is now much closer to the upper bound of that range. On the matter of inflation, the Bank of Jamaica is projecting that inflation in the March quarter will slow to within a band of 1.5 to 2.5% and is maintaining its projection of 8.5 to 10.5% for the full fiscal year which ends March 31. Amidst what's seen as huge market demand for West Indian Sea Island cotton and in a bid to the Jamaican industry, the Japanese government today granted $106,000 to the Jamaica Agricultural Development Foundation to allow for much needed technical support to farmers. Now, at the signing ceremony today, the Japanese ambassador to Jamaica good-naturedly quipped that he hoped the project will be implemented in Japan time. The highest quality sea island cotton is found in the West Indies where it's cultivated on a few islands and commands a premium price of 10 US dollars per pound, a price that's five times higher than the next best cotton. The Jamaica Agricultural Development Foundation is optimistic that when fully developed, the Jamaican sea island cotton industry could yield in excess of 800 million US dollars annually. News on the foreign exchange market now, where all three regularly traded international currencies strengthened against the Jamaican dollar today. The benchmark American dollar gained two cents Jamaican, closing at an average selling rate of $107.89, whilst the Canadian dollar jumped by 43 cents Jamaican to close at $98.52. Sterling strengthened by 48 Jamaican cents to close at $190.61. News on the market now and gains by Carreras, Lime and NCB mainly triggered advances in the Jamaican stock market indices today. The main JC index jumped by 480 points or three-fifths of 1%. 30 stocks traded today with 11 advancing, 10 declining and 9 holding firm. The winners included Carreras up 3.9%, Grace Kennedy, Jamaican Tees up 4.4%, Lime, NCB, Sagicor's Real Estate X Fund, and Scotia Investments. The losers included Caribbean Cement down 5.4%, Caribbean Cream, JMMB Lasco Distributors, and Paramount Trading down 6.25%. That's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Burita, making money work for you.